Hey guys, Toast here. Today we're going to review and discuss the Madsen MG, a light machine gun available for 200 war bonds per variant for the support class in Battlefield 1. We'll discuss the stats of each of the different variants, attachments, the situations in which the weapon excels, and some tips when playing with this particular weapon. The Madsen MG comes in three different variants, Low Weight, Trench, and Storm. The three variants share the majority of their major stats in common. All three variants have the same maximum damage of 23 and minimum damage of 17.5. This means that the maximum damage is the same as all other light machine guns in the game, with the minimum damage being right in the middle. They all have the same damage drop-off featuring a maximum damage only up to 11 meters, and then very quickly dropping off to their minimum damage at 43 meters. This means that they're all 5-shot body shot kills up to 11 meters, dropping off to 6 shots from 43 meters on. With that said, it's still one shot less to kill at long ranges than the Lewis gun or the Huo. The rate of fire for all variants is very respectable at 540 rounds per minute, making it the second fastest rate of fire weapon available to the support class, second only to the BAR M1918. All are loaded with a single magazine, taking 2.65 seconds to reload with at least one or more bullets remaining, and a hefty 4.2 seconds to reload when fully empty. This again makes it the second fastest short reload, but one of the longest long reloads. That said, it has 31 rounds in the magazine prior to needing to reload, so it makes sense that the short reload would be slightly slower than the BAR. Where the differences come into play with the variants of this weapon are in the recoil and the spread. The low weight variant has the best recoil decrease, meaning it returns to its starting position faster between shots, as well as the best spread increase per shot. It also has a bipod attached for better long range shooting. The Storm variant has the lowest horizontal and vertical recoil at roughly 33% lower than the other two variants. The Trench variant, as we've seen with many other Trench variants in the game, is the Hipfire King variant of this gun, again at a roughly 33% increase in hipfire accuracy over the other two variants. The attachments for the Madsen MG are a bit interesting because this is one of the only weapons in the game where the attachments for all three variants are identical in every aspect. All three variants offer two types of iron sights, both standard and AA, which is essentially a sight consisting of concentric circles. The magnification ranges from 1x up to 2x, and you have the option of selecting the weapon's recoil direction, either center, right, or left, whichever is going to help give you the most control over the weapon. Unlike many of the other weapons in the game in which each variant tends to be ideal for specific ranges, the Mads and MG's variants tend to be more catered to the user's preference of handling. Because the vast majority of the stats are the same, as well as attachments including the sights and magnifications, which are all close range, the choice in variant tends to boil down to whether you would prefer a weapon which handles better when aimed down sight, which is the Storm variant, a weapon that's better for hip firing, which is the Trench variant, or a weapon that's right in the middle but can also be bipodded, which is the low weight variant. Ultimately, all three variants are primarily designed to be used in close to mid-range situations due to the higher than average rate of fire for support weapons and faster than average short reload. If you find that the BAR M1918 small magazine tends to be a problem for you, but you like the high rate of fire and close range damage potential, the Madsen MG may be a better option for you. You have the availability of an additional 11 rounds to be used, which can be a bit more forgiving, but the rate of fire, while not as high, is still comparable. It's a really nice trade-off if you want a bit more leeway in your battles. The Madsen MG is a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type of weapon. It isn't quite as good as the BAR for those close-range engagements, and it isn't quite as strong as the MG15NA for longer ranges. It holds its own as well as it needs to, and can be adapted as needed to many situations. Overall, it does tend to lean more toward a close-range support weapon than, say, the Lewis gun, but it still has the versatility needed when fighting longer-ranged battles. Now, I've found in my time spent with the weapon that the Storm variant tends to be my preferred variant. While it doesn't have the hipfire potential of the Trench variant or the bipod of the low-weight variant, the added ADS accuracy in the form of the preferential recoil makes hitting those mid-range targets a pretty easy task, and it still has enough hipfire prowess to hold its own if and when an enemy does close the gap on you. If you anticipate that you're going to find yourself in a lot of long-range battles, say on a map like Fau Fortress or St. Quentin Scar, where long lines of sight are plentiful, then the Madsen MG may not be the best choice as there are weapons in the support class that do long-range much better. This weapon is best suited for the smaller maps like Argonne Forest or Suez, 
or mid-range maps like Amiens and Monte Grappa where there are still some short-range engagements. If you are going to choose to use it on a map where there's a lot of long-range engagements, try to make use of the bipod with the low weight variant. You won't have the most accurate sight or magnification to back it up, but at least you have a more steady shot. Now I want to know how you feel about the Madsen MG. Do you like the weapon and feel it's viable? Or do you feel that there are other weapons that may be a better choice for the support class? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.